What's up y'all, it's Pat from Texas Freshwater Fly Fishing again. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do another tie. That's pretty easy. Um, again, this is a great freshwater uh, Guadalupe bass, largemouth bass. Great fly that I love to throw in the rivers here, <clears throat> even in the lakes uh, here in, in Texas. Um, it's kind of a variation of a woolly bugger. Uh, you can see my video on how to tie a woolly bugger if you want to. Um, but I call this one the silly bugger. Uh, why? Because it's tied with silly legs. Um, but it's it's like a woolly bugger, woolly bugger jig combination. Uh, that's what we're tying up right there. You can tie it in, in all sorts of different colors, browns, oranges, and reds. Um, but what we're gonna tie today is just the, uh, the olive silly bugger. Okay, olive silly bugger. Um, we're gonna tie it up on this uh, Umqua size 8 U555 jig. Use it before, it's a great, great hook for tying this. Um, and we're gonna tie it with a gold bead head. So we'll start out by putting that gold bead head on the hook. Go ahead and we're gonna get it clamped down into the vise. <clears throat> All right, um, but I want this one to get down pretty deep, pretty quick. So I'm gonna add some lead wire to the hook itself or to the hook shank itself. Add my lead wire, bunch that on there pretty neat and tight. Um, that also kind of helps the body get thicker. How much you put on, even if you want to put it on or not, it's all a preference on how you're gonna fish it. If you're gonna fish it real slow and you almost want it to suspend or just really slowly sink in the water, you don't have to add it. I want it to get down quick. Uh, this is a fly I really like to throw in the colder water in this, these winter months that we're in right now. Um, Cause I fish it slow and on the bottom, really drag it and fish it slow on the bottom. We're gonna use an olive thread. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thread tied on and work it down to the back of the hook. I like to get it on to that lead wire, kind of help hold that lead wire in place, make a few wraps around there. And then wrap back, wrap back to the bend of the hook. Sometimes I'll come back Put a few extra wraps onto that lid. Really try to lock it down from ro rolling. Okay, and get back to the bend of the hook. Then, um, just like with a uh, woolly bugger, kind of the base of this fly is like a woolly bugger. Um, we're gonna use some Marabou and I'm using it in a grizzly grizzly olive marabou today Get yourself a few pieces that you like They're gonna work well for a tail Yeah, there are a bunch of it We want our tail to be about as long as the hook is Okay pieces where you want it and go ahead and tie that in. Tie that in. Tie up all that marabou around your lid. And get that tied down. <clears throat> the next thing we want to do is tie in what's going to be our ribbing. I'm using this black, just this black wire, right? This black wire. Tie it in as my ribbing and have that hanging out the back of the fly, just like you would with my woolly bugger, my, my regular woolly bugger. All right, um, then we wanna start adding in the silly legs, right? We're using these olive barred silly legs. I really like them, they're really soft. Um, you can tie them kind of small and they're still able to move in the water and not just stick straight forward. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take just two of them, pop them off, 
Make sure the ends are free. So I'll kind of trim them up. Take two of them, double it over, right? Double it over. So really we have four strands sticking out that one side there. I'm gonna go ahead and tie that on to where those strands are just short of the end of my marabou and the end of my tail. So get a couple wraps there, a couple wraps to hold it in place. Then I'm gonna take these extra strands that were sticking up the front, go ahead and pop off that loop, fold them around to the other side of the hook, line it up to where about the same length is on the other side and secure those in place. Okay, now we got some legs sticking out there in the back with the tail. Trim off that excess stuff there. Wrap your wrap it down. Okay. Then we're gonna add in the body. That's gonna be the body of the fly. Um, for the body of the fly, I'll use this crystal chenille in a light olive. I'm gonna go ahead and get that tied in here. A few wraps to secure it. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap all the way up to the front of the fly now. If you notice, I left space between my wet, my lead wire and the bead, the bead head. That space is gonna be important later on, so make sure you're paying attention to that. And take your chenille, wrap it around to build your body, around the lead, and then it's gonna kinda shrink back down here. And that's good, that's what you want couple wraps to secure that in place trim it off All right there we go now we're gonna build our ribbing so we'll take that wire that we had sticking out the back and in the opposite direction we're gonna go ahead and wrap it with even spacing around the body of this silly bugger to the front, couple wraps to secure it in place, snip that wire off, make sure it's tucked down so it's not going to cut any line, secure it down in place, oh, shoot, broke my line, happens every, every now and then, okay, wrap it in, secure it down, All right, wrap that, secure it down. That wire's not sticking out. Now we get to have a little bit of fun. We're gonna take those same, same legs, that skirting material, and we're gonna go two pieces at a time. Clip them off, all right? Two pieces at a time. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do, Kind of make sure they're kind of close to even. Doesn't have to be perfect, but kind of close to even. We're gonna take it and tie it where these front or these legs that are sticking back are just maybe a quarter of an inch past the body of our jiggy jiggy bugger. There. Make two wraps to secure it. Uh, that's a little bit shorter than what I wanted. Let's look at it. Yeah, right about there. Okay, couple wraps to secure it in place. And then you take these ones that are sticking out the front, find the ends of them, even up the links a little bit, and you're gonna lay them down right beside, see if I can do it on this side, right beside those first two that you laid down sticking backwards. Right, make a couple wraps. Move it if you need to, to where they're right beside it. So we're gonna have a skirt that goes all the way around. I'll show you in a minute. All right, so you have two there. Rotate your fly a little bit. Get yourself two more. Lay those down right next to the other ones at the same length. 
starts getting kind of hairy with your wrapping when you get a bunch of these silly legs hanging off. Just be careful, wrap it in. Two wraps, rotate it a little bit. Take your two loose strands, if I can grab them. Take your two loose strands, make sure your ends are about even. Lay it down right beside it. And secure that down with a couple wraps. Keep rotating. And all you're gonna do is keep rotating it around until we get the whole body of the fly covered up with these silly legs. Kinda like a jig, right? Looks like I got space for two more. So we'll do two more. That'll be it. Two. There we go. All right. Once we get all those wrapped in, we take the front ones that are hanging out. We're going to cut out all those loops so that they're all kind of like single strands. And I want to clean them up, trim them up to where they're about even. Push them backwards where they're wrapped around. Don't pull them all to the top. Don't pull them all to the bottom. Push them backwards. Make a couple ties, really secure it in. And we're gonna add our little whip finish. in there trim up your thread there you go there you have it the jiggy bugger the jiggy bugger and olive thanks y'all be sure to like and follow the videos if you're enjoying